What is up, motherfuckers? This is DW here, and uh, I am um, doing a different game today. Uh, Brian has been busy with um, doing uh, work. He got a job. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, we're not going to be having a lot of MS... Oh, there's the music again. We're not going to be having a lot of MS Saga for a bit there. So, um, I actually recently got word uh, where we're going to be doing Dot .hack Fragment here. Um... I got word that uh, Coldbird, a uh, man who has been working on translating .hack Fragment for well over nine years, if I recall correctly. I remember watching this project blossom when I was 16 years old. I, I'm pretty sure so. Yeah, that's that's probably over 12 years now that they've been working on this crap. Um, they've done a lot of work with it. This is the latest build. And uh, recently, due to people uh, cheating and hacking and just screwing with all of the hard work that they've done on the restoration of dot .hack uh, fragment. Um, they have decided to cut off their online servers. And uh, yeah, I'm quite devastated because, like, not many, but quite a few people, uh, I'm a huge fan of this game. And uh, I have always, always loved the dot .hack series. It is, like, near and dear to my heart. So, in honor and commemoration of Coldbird's unfortunate leave of absence from this wonderful, fantastic project that he and many other men, uh, I, I'll probably, I'll, I'll, I'll link a download to this through Nico Blog below. But um, they worked very, very hard on this, and it just it pains me inside to see people kill a project like this because they just want to fucking cheat. So. Uh, a ton of this bullshit. I'm going to be starting a brand new goddamn character, and I am unfortunately going to be taking a long dive into uh, beating this fucking game, which I have never done. Uh, the farthest I got was I created a heavy blade, and that's what we're going to do here. Sorry, I'm fucking emotional. It's like really, really depressing to me. Um, I created a heavy blade. I forgot that I probably just named him DW like always, because that's what I fucking do, because I'm stupid and I'm, I'm not original with anything. I'm very, very skinny guy. Just a very skinny guy. Anyways. Um. But, anyways, uh, yeah, in honor of all the BS that these guys have fucking poured their heart and souls into, I am going to be doing a full play through this. Uh, the farthest I got, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. The farthest I ever got was level 38. At one point in time, I was the strongest player in the world. I was like Mr. Azure Orca, but not actually him. So, alright. Anyways, uh, God, do I want to if I think I want to? I, I, I like not dying. Um, typically, you usually want to focus on one or the other. Uh, mm, I want to be good at being missed. Uh, yeah, I wanna, I, I wanna not die. All right. So, yep. Uh, this is a wonderful. Uh, he even actually put in keyboard support, if I remember correctly. But I don't fucking know how to do that because I'm dumb. So, say so, okay to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name myself this and shrink that down to to a smaller dot. Okay. And the W. Don't forget the W and the DW. Okay, and that's our character. So yeah, um, I don't know if anybody is going to actually join me on this, but I do plan on uh, bringing, well, attempting to bring in some uh, good old friends from uh, good old Dot Hack Integral. If anybody actually remembers that role-playing site, it's a long-running role-play site for uh, Dot Hack games. Um, I, I was on there for years, like I said, since I was 16. I'm 28 now, so you know. Fuck does that tell you? But uh, yeah. Obviously, as you can see, this isn't a fully completed English patch. Unfortunately, I do have to read through, aka, huh, you know, uh, air, air quote, read through all this bullshit in order to progress forward with the game, just like you would in a regular dot hack title. None of this is translated. Um, a little bit of the menus are updated from the original pure Jap version. Um, they decided to make it look more like the World R2 with sleeker, prettier menus. Um, you could even see their website there. You can't even download the game here anymore. It's 
got there. They've closed it down, but um, I will put a link in the description of this video on where you can find this, so you guys can go ahead and play it for yourself to commemorate how amazing Dot Hack is and how wonderful it would have been to uh, keep playing on a wonderful server that this man and all of these people poured their heart and soul into. So, alrighty, we have Bear here. Hello, hello. And I'm just like, what the fuck do you want, Bear? No answer. Mm, oh, I get it. You must be new here. I'm Bear. I'm not suspicious. Miss Bacon Tomatoes, like, I, I'm, I'm not doing your voice. I'm just gonna read. Are you being no no nosy, nosy, noisy, noisy? That's so like you. This sucks without Brian. I'm helping the newbie here, Bacon Tomato. And just so Mr. Bear's giving lectures now. This is boring. This is so boring, but don't worry about it. If you guys have... Never mind, I'll get to that. Uh, BT, nice to meet you. I'm a wave master. That's the mage class. Well, BT and I can show you around. How about it? Can I adopt you? It doesn't matter what I say, because but thou must. So sure. Uh, let's go, then. Uh, that's what an MMO was about, anyways. Communication. Here, take this. I have his address. Now I can drive past his house. It can be used to email your friends inside the world. Using them is possible to drop each other a message while we remain locked in the world. This can take so long. Furthermore, they are needed to invite your friends into your party. Now for the real thing. Invite me. Press that triangle button, bitch. Go to the party button, hit the invite, hit the bear, do that. You can pick everyone that's online. I'm not gonna read this shit. You know what, I've already given up on half this crap. Not really, I should at least pay attention to some of it because they work so damn hard for this. Anyways, just got an incoming party request. Oh, look at that. We didn't even have the giant obnoxious pictures like they were in the original Dot Hack games if you played Infection Mutation Outbreak in Quarantine. Uh, Cold Bird actually did a bit of an edit to give it kind of that GU feel, so they put the little images in the bottom with the uh, SPs and all that. It's easier to keep track of that way, too. In all complete honesty, I'm not even lying. He's like, did you see my avatar at the bottom of the screen? That means it worked. You should also blah, 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 party invites. Furthermore, both you and your friend have been online available to work, too. It makes sense, though. Absolutely no one can be online 24-7. Apparently, you guys have never met me. Anyways. That says, oh, by the way, your experience remains the same in a party. So, party a lot. Anyways, we should get going. Miss Bacon Tomato, are you ready? One second. Member address. Alrighty. Now I just have to add her to the party. I shouldn't even be skipping text like this. Oh my god. This probably took, like, a year. <laughs> Twenty fucking year. Actually, shit. If I remember correctly, the first time I played this translation patch, like, this wasn't even translated. The only thing that was translated was the menus, so this is really impressive to me. It's good, that makes us three. Alright, time to embark on your first adventure. Let's find an easy area for you. This is the Chaos Gate. It takes you from one place to another. It's like a teleporter. Give it a try by pressing the circle button. Alright, and, you know, we know how area words work. I'm literally just gonna let, um, text flow through just because you know, like I said they worked so hard on this I, I, I literally cried when I heard they were taking the server down because it's just, it's so oh, yep, yep there you go. I'm signing the server, so whatever, anyways but yeah, I am I am still really, really upset by this so much so that I am literally making a video tonight instead of sleeping because I gotta work tomorrow, but you know, I had to do something, so we're gonna do something about this. Let's see, this is your insured, mixed words, is for advice. Tally ho! He's a Final Fantasy fan. Alright. So, if anybody has played the original uh, Dot Hack Infection, uh, this beginning part is exactly the fucking same. And I mean to a fucking T, like, this is exactly the same. So, camera controls. Oh, BT Sensei, teach us my riffs, Wiki. <laughs> Don't mock me, old man. Either way, if you want to survive, keep up your guard. Proper camera. Yep, alright. Spells and skills. I think they literally ripped these from, uh, what you call it. Actually, no, no, they didn't. Uh, because Orca was the only person with you in the original games. But I'll do those one day, too. Alright, I can rotate the camera. Look at that. Left, 
right, left, oh, zooming, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, 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 back, forward, back, forward, L3. Alright, camera can be your best friend or your worst enemy, use it wisely. Watch your horses, nay. If Brian was here, he'd just be like, Aah. anyways, even I can't keep up with you. Sound snake voice. Too fast. Sorry. I don't know why I decided to do that on an oar. Anyways. Alright, the area we're currently in is called a field. Not all of them are like this. Should you wish to return to town, you press triangle and go to gate out. But I can't fucking do that because it's a tutorial. And there are countless field types that you can count through creating me some keywords. Hmm. I don't know why I decided to drink one of their climate layout every attribute. We change through word combinations. That kind of went a little off the text box, but that's okay. In grassland type fields, for example, it would rain if the element is water. Item drop rates, you will... The uh, words, I'm good at reading. Item drop rates and monster types you will encounter will also be covered by them. This variety might overwhelm you in the beginning, but you will get used to it. For now, let's explore the area. The map at the top right will help you. Yep. See the downward red area? That's the dungeon. And the bottom? This is a statue. It's got stuff. That's what you gotta do. The enemies in the dungeon are tough, and you wanna level up on the field. So, orbs. Fairy orbs will they open all the secrets? Shit. And the yellow points are magic portals. I can use Vorth. Oh my god, I'm so tired. And I've done this like 18 times, by the way, so sorry if I'm not so enthusiastic. They can bring forth monsters or treasure chests. We'll practice beats dry theory. Let's do it. I just mash the circle button to win. And yeah, that cursors. That's who I'm attacking. <coughs> Killed it. Yeah. Ooh, look at that text. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright, so we have triangle to bring up skills. You have different skills to do skills. Oh, I got skills. What are you going to do about it? Uh, yep, it's gonna miss targets. Skills do have accuracy. Um, you can do chats, you can ask them to attack and then shit like that. And you can change their strategy, you can actually ask specific members to use specific skills, which is kinda cool. Look at those beautiful text boxes. So, how was it, you know, commanding the almighty bacon tomato? You know, most people don't like tomatoes. Different party members will react, well, differently to the command you give. That's why you should test them first and see how they react to your commands. They're probably more, right? Oh my god, you have no idea. Don't worry, we're almost done. Should be able to survive now. Let's get to the juicy part. Down into the dungeon. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, second. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna turn the graphics up for this on my uh, emulator or not. I am playing this real emulation because otherwise I would have to burn this onto a CD and I just don't have that kind of fucking time after my hands. I also don't own the slot magic, that was Brian. I can also play this in first person for some dumb fucking reason. I don't know why anybody would ever want to do this, but you know, if for some reason you feel masochistic, you can do that. Ah, man. This also feels so nice. Um, I recently decided to, uh... Oh my god, I know. I'm just so... Crying, so impressed. Now. I recently decided to um, learn how to sync up my PlayStation 3 controller, so it's a lot nicer to play these PS2 games again. Alrighty, it's dungeon time. Down here, you'll have to be extra careful. After all, you can't use gate out here. But if you ever need to return around, you find a field first. Well, you don't want to backtrack. You can use <laughs> you, can use a, <laughs> you can use an item in the Sprite Ocarina to exit the dungeon. Alright, this is a chest. Open it. There's two types. Normal and trapped. That's a normal, that's a trapped. So this is a normal chest. You get a fairy herb. Go you. You get a cookie. See this? This is a trap chest. You open this, you're gonna get crap out of it, and then it's gonna give you like an antidote because you're stupid. Ha. Ah. You'll be next if you don't stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Times like this, a fortune wire can be disarmed to crap. So use a fortune wire, and then it's safe to open it. I wish I could pick my way into BT's heart. Bear. Alrighty. Your breath is acquired. If 
thought you'd only be able to see parts of the uh, blah blah blah. If you use a fairy orb, you can see the whole goddamn thing. That's it. Alrighty, so it's been 15 fucking minutes of boring dialogue, and we're gonna fix that crap. Let's see. How do I do the map thing? I don't remember. Is it these? Oh yeah, that's that's the one. I'm still trying to remember all the little different controls. Uh, they're, they're a little bit different from uh, the actual, um, the original dot hacks. Uh, not by too much. Uh, one cool feature is if you hold forward long enough and you let go, I'm, my, I set my controller over there, you auto run forward until you change the direction of input. Um, it ha it's a mixed blessing. Oh, watch out. Got stuck in a trap room. You know, every room of the game, there's no way to escape. The only way out is by opening all the magic portals. All the magic portal. There's no S there, just one. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright, let's do this. And by let's do this, I mean let's have you go in there, because you're just gonna smack him in the face with your blunt sword. And he's gonna get fucked the fuck up. Alright. So, uh, another notable difference between Fragment and the original games is the experience values are like one-fourth of what they were. Um, normally you would gain like 5 EXP if it was a... Uh, excuse me, if it was a bullshit weak monster that fucking nobody gave a crap about. Oop. Damn, I was really hoping to find a creature there. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, <laughs> way too much grinding off-screen here, too, because, uh, well... <laughs> you can actually ask Mr. Inhuman Beatdown. Uh, my first experience with this game was running around like a chicken with my head cut off for three months of playing. It took me a very, it took me a very, 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 very long time to get up to level 38, and it's gonna take me even longer to get back there again because I don't have that type of free time anymore. So yeah. <sighs> I'm using the exact same character model and name uh, what I was doing before. The only real difference is I'm focusing more on defense instead of murdering shit, so... This is the God Statue. It was known as the Got Statue in the American version, but you know, fuck that. Every dungeon containing one of these, you'll find a treasure. Yep. Finding this treasure and making it back to town one piece is our goal. So, having a Sprite Arc Arena ready can help. Once you're back in the field, pick gate out. Alrighty. Let's see what I get. A fossil bracer, resurrect, and a health drink. Alright, so can I use any of that dumb shit? Let's see. Ooh, I lose some magic defense, but I gain. Oh, I also lose rep, and I don't want to do that. Let's see. So this is. This is light hand armor, that's heavy. So, one cool thing about this game is. Um, if you are a heavy armored character, you can equip any fucking type of armor in the game, which is really cool. So, you can actually essentially be a, um, you can be a physical fucking fighter and just be, like, the most magic-y magic magic of the game. Also, you know, we're gonna go fight Scathe now, so let's go ahead and do that. I still remember the first time I did this, I was like, I walked out of the room and I was like, wait, wait for it. Or is it happening? Is Bear going to get data drained by Scathe and then everything's going to go to hell? Nope, we're just playing a video game. And that's exactly what happens here. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have them use the Sprite Oak Arena because I'm a cheap ass. Um, every single time you log out, if I recall, if it's just like the original games, everybody will refill on their basic necessity items. So, um... What was this area? Oh god. Okay. Anyways. Um Yeah, so let's see here. What do we got? This nomad's hood which is plain. And they got this headgear which is level three. And this area is level one, so putting anything in here will just screw it over, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, those pools, you can toss an item in there, and he'll ask if you lo lost a golden axe or a silver axe, or neither one. If you say neither one, you have a chance of getting either higher level gear or lower level gear. Um, I think it's based on whatever you throw in there. 
And we're back, safe and sound. You aren't too bad, you know. As long as you pick an area matching your level, you should be fine. Just call us if you need us. And then Mimi Roo shows up. Just, oh, it's you, old man. I'm not gonna do voices. I'm too tired for this bullshit today. Well, hello, young lady. And BT2, always together. What have you been doing? Mary decided to play teacher. Ah, uh, preaching. <laughs> hey, now. Guess she doesn't value your teachings, Bear. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. <laughs> I think I'll call it a day from now. I'll send you mail later. Make sure you check your mailer. <laughs> I guess it's a good time to stop for today. See you around. Oh my god, that is like up way too damn high. Here we go. Let's, yeah, let's let's keep that at a good 90. And same for me. Tally ho! <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah, everybody signed off because they're a bunch of dicks. Ooh, look at that map. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. That frame rate. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Once upon a time, this was the record shop. Well, not a business, and the game now saves automatically when you exit from the options. Watch out, though. You might lose some data if you don't exit this way. Oh, I got some messages. Oh, man, look at me and my messages. Oh, I store some stuff, and let's see here, what do we got? <laughs> Actually, who knows? So, um, the game still functions the same way that uh, all the old games did. Um, they still have NPCs that, like, wander around the towns. Okay, I was gonna say, make a liar out of me, Colbert, changing the shit up. Uh, none of them are translated, but all of their shit is, and that's all that matters, so... Yep. So, yeah, uh, they're all still there. You can still trade with them. Uh, you always want to make sure you talk to them, make sure they're not one of those assholes that's like, I'll trade you seven sports drinks for, for, this, for this piece of shit here. Like, look at you, what do you, what do you want? She's probably, like, wanted to, like, people like this, like, every fucking time, I swear to God, it's like, oh man, level 27, oh man, level 26, and they always say this, Japanese kanji, which is, want to trade, and they want to trade you for 10 holy saps and a forest gloves, or 10 holy saps for the one thing, or whatever, for the other, and all that dumb shit, that's fucking dumb, it's so dumb, you know what's dumb? Them, because they're dumb. Alright, so let's see here. Ooh, I could get the Kiku Ichimunji and be just like I am in Final Fantasy Tactics. However, I'm not going to screw with any of that. Uh, what I'm going to do here, actually, is I'm going to exit the server. So we're just going to go log out. I, I don't know why it says exit server, but it says it should be log out. Alright, and then we're just going to quit. It's going to save the game, so it always saves the game after you quit. And uh, another way you can quit out is you can hit start and go to exit game, and that'll save you as well. So we're going to go to offline mode, we're going to do inbox, and I'm going to read the email. Oh, look at me. Bear's got to congratulate me. And Cecil. <laughs> because for some fucking reason, um, yeah, they, they give you all your emails is uh, one thing. Uh, you can't check the news here, but... Uh, Alright, well, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm going to call this an episode, and uh, when we come back, we'll do, uh, we'll do the next story part. Alrighty, see you all then.